हेलो व्यूवर्स यूर वॉचिंग पब्लिक टीवी इंग्लिश वी ब्रिंग यू द मेजर अपडेट्स ऑफ टुडे कनाडा एक्टर दर्शन तुगुदीपा अक्यूज इन रेणुका स्वामी मर्डर केस वॉज शिफ्टेड टू द बलारी जेल ऑन थर्स डे द मूव केम आफ्टर हिस्स फोटोग्राफ सम हिस्ट्री शीटर इन द लॉन्स ऑफ परपना ग्रहारा सेंट्रल जेल इन कर्नाटका वेंट वायरल Actress Pavitra Gowda will remain in the Parappana Grahara Central Jail in Bengaluru. The other accused in the case were shifted to Mysuru, Shumoga and Dharwad Jail. Deputy Chief Minister and Water Resources Minister DK Shivkumar has said that the experimental operation of the Yettina Hole drinking water project was successful. He said the inauguration date for the much awaited project would be announced soon. It will be inaugurated by Chief Minister Sidramaiah before the water levels drop, Shivkumar said. The project will provide 24.01 TMC of drinking water to Kola, Chikkabalapur, Bengaluru Rural, Ramanagar, Tumakuru, Hassan and Chikmanglu districts. Shikumar said that the government plans to complete the project by 2027. BJP has slammed West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee for her remarks on burning of states. The party said the Supreme Court should take suo moto cognizance of a dangerous speech. In her speech, Mamata Banerjee said, "If Bengal burns, Assam, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, North East and Delhi will also burn." The West Bengal CM's dangerous and inflammatory speech was nothing short of a brazen threat. Blatant intimidation and an open provocation to incite unrest in the entire nation, BJP spokesperson C R Keshavan said. Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sharma on Wednesday hit back to Mamata Banerjee, questioning how she had dared to threaten Assam. Manipur Chief Minister N Bairen Singh too questioned how Mamata dared to threaten the North East. Bairen Singh said she must publicly apologize to the North East and the rest of the nation. One terrorist was killed in a joint anti-infiltration operation in Jammu and Kashmir's Kupwara district on Thursday. The operation was launched by Indian Army and Jammu and Kashmir police following intelligence inputs regarding likely infiltration boats. Meanwhile, a search operation was underway in Rajouri district of Jammu and Kashmir after an exchange of fire took place between terrorists and security forces. The Paris Paralympic Games were officially inaugurated with the grand opening ceremony marking the beginning of an exciting chapter in Paralympic sports history. In a moment of pride for India, para athlete Sumit Antil and Bhageshri Jadhav led the Indian contingent. Alongside him was Bhageshri Jadhav, a silver medalist in shot put at the Asian Para Games in Hangzhou. This year, India has sent its largest contingent ever to the Paralympics, compromising 84 athletes across 12 sports disciplines. India is competing in three new sports: para cycling, para rowing, and blind judo at the Paris Paralympics.